Hi everyone, Shakel Bartal is here, ladies and gentlemen, the Carolina Panthers hold the pre-draft press conference today, which took place at Bank of America Stadium, hosted by the Carolina Panthers General Manager Scott Federal, Assistant General Manager Dan Morgan, and Head of Scout Jim Spencer. Now, the Carolina Panthers, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, or the number one overall pick in the upcoming draft. As well as the second in the second round they have the 29th pick, they have a pick in the third round, and they have a pick all the way to sixth round, but they don't have a pick in the seventh round. This year draft. The Carolina Panthers will be drafting number one overall, barring a trade, which is not likely to happen. In nine days from now, which, ladies and gentlemen, I must admit, I did find it quite interesting that the Carolina Panthers decided to hold the press conference today, nine days out from the draft, considering that last year the Carolina Panthers hold the pre-draft press conference just one day. Before the draft. So that is something interesting that I found. Now, based off the press conference today, without Carolina Panthers saying it publicly, I think we can all assume that the number one pick for the Carolina Panthers is going to be quarterback Bryce Young from the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. Scott Federal, then Morgan and Spencer throughout the press conference gave high praise to Bryce Young. And the way they talked about Bryce Young is the way you talk about someone in the NFL after you just end up in drafting him. So, that is something also interesting that I found out watching this press conference. And overall, if you remove the height from Bryce Young, who is listed as 5'10", then by all means, he's the best player in the entire draft. Not just as quarterback, but entire draft. And because of his height, 5'10", which is relatively short for NFL starting quarterback, there are questions whether Carolina Panthers should draft Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Will Levis, Anthony Richardson. If Bryce Young was just 6'2", he would have been the number one overall pick, slam dunk. And even though he's 5'10", I'm still convinced, ladies and gentlemen, that Bryce Young is going to be a very good quarterback in the NFL, a franchise type of quarterback. He has all the tools to become potentially the next Patrick Mahomes. Maybe this is the next Russell Wilson. I don't believe we are looking at a bust. I really don't. I don't believe we are looking at someone who has a lot of expectation, but is not going to live up to them. This is not the case with Bryce Young. And part of it has to do with his character and personality. He's very soft-spoken. He appear like a very good, outstanding person. He's also very bright. Those are extremely important factors when you look at a quarterback and you decide, is he going to be potentially the next Patrick Mahomes? Or potentially is going to be the next 
Ryan Leaf. And I believe we potentially, and I say it potentially, we are looking at someone who could become the next Patrick Mahomes or the next Russell Wilson. He has all the tools to do that. And even though he's 5'10", the way he released the ball, one wouldn't notice that, that is 5'10". On the other end, comparing to an Baker Mayfield, also 5'10". The way Bake, Baker Mayfield throw the ball, pardon me, Baker May, Mayfield is six foot. So, the way Baker Mayfield throw the ball is not very high. That is why last year, when he played for the Carolina Panthers, a lot of his pass will keep it's a line of scrimmage with Bryce Young when he played for Alabama his pass won't tip at the line of scrimmage why? because he has eye release of the ball which make a big difference so even though he's 5'10 the way he released the ball one would presume he's 6'4 which make a massive difference also, is extremely fast, so he can avoid injuries. So, when you look at everything, even though I'm a fan of Anthony Richardson, and I believe he can be the next Cam Newton, in my opinion, Bryce Young has the chance to be a very, very good pick. An outstanding player for the next 10 to 15 years. Easily I can see that. So if I'm the Carolina Panthers, borrowing a massive, and I mean a massive, at least three first round pick, maybe a star player or two, unless you get this type of an offer, you absolutely have to take Bryce Young with the number one overall pick. The upcoming 2023 NFL Draft, nine days from now. With that, Shaked Baltal is signing off.